everybody. Um, my name is Joss and this is Jonathan. Hi. We're two thirds of the art collective Joss John Yosh and we're filming here in our studio at Arts Network. Um, some of you we will have met before and have worked with before um, but many others of you we won't have met. So I'd just like to thank you very much for taking part in this project. Um, so I'll go ahead and try and explain what we're hoping to achieve and the context for the project. Um, you will have each um, received something that looks similar to this, which is a um, part of a photographic canvas, basically a large C-type photograph, black and white photograph. That means it's been chemically produced. Um, if you turn it over, you'll notice that your um, print has a number to it. This is because um, the um, original print was a print of this type of size and um, we cut out, dissected the print into many different parts using, um, using the shapes of our limbs as some form. And then we numbered each segment that we then sent to you guys um, for you to work on. Now the effect that we're hoping to achieve through doing this is something similar to this piece here. It's the yellow. And again, on this piece here, which might be more easy, might be easier to see. Okay. So this is basically, the yellow is, um, the yellow appears by a chemical reaction with water. So water and exposure of the chemicals within the photographic paper once they're rubbed away. So tools that you'll need um, to have are um, something like this, which is a Phillips flathead screwdriver. And this is a tool that we've found pretty useful for doing it. Um, it's better than probably something sharp like a pin because you don't want to take off too much of the photographic print because otherwise you reduce it to just the white of the paper, the very base layer, and that's not what we want to do. Um, then a kind of relatively clean cloth um, and a small um, receptacle of water. Okay, so what we're looking and asking you to do is to, in your pieces of dissected print, are to find the blackest parts of the image. Some of you might, may just have black pieces of image, in which case what would be great is if you could kind of work off, rub off all of the black. But m m a lot of you will also have pieces of print that look very black, but if you look much more closely, there are gradations of grains in there. So what we'd ask you to do is just to work, focus on the blackest areas of the print. So with your print kind of placed on in a clean space, take your tool and identify a black area of the image. Okay, it might just be a very, very small area. Dip your tool in the water. You just need it. You don't need much water. It's just so the tool's wet. Just a very small amount. Rub off an area of black. And it, you can just begin by rubbing very, very gently. And you'll know it's working when you start to see this yellowy gold color emerge. So just begin by rubbing gently, and if you need to apply a bit more pressure, go ahead. It just takes some time to become familiar with the effect, how it appears, and, um, and the tool itself. Okay, and then once you've worked off that area, or part of the area, just rub off the excess material, that, the kind of debris that comes off from the print. You just want to keep that clean. Because the longer it stays on the print, it, the harder it gets. Okay, that's 
that's pretty much it. So once you have done that, it would be great if you could send your pieces of print canvas back to us and then we will begin putting it back together. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to see how it looks. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for taking part and uh, we're excited to see how this progresses. Thank you. Thank you.